Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Red Dead Online and we're doing another weapon video. Today's is going to be top five rifles. And so we're going to, it could be regular rifles or sniper rifles uh, or long scope rifles as they're called in the game. I'm just going to include them all in one category because effectively they mostly are interchangeable. So uh, with all that in mind, you know how these videos usually go. We'll rank them based on their stats, but also how useful they are in any given situation. And I'll kind of point out what they're good at and what they're bad at. So if you've seen any of these videos before that I've done for the other weapons in the game, you know how it goes. Before we jump into that, I just want to direct your eyes to this little graphic here on screen that shows that over 90% of the people who view my channel uh, are not subscribed. So if you could go ahead and subscribe to the channel and ring that bell if you're a returning viewer, because you're likely to be here again. So you might as well just subscribe and save us both some time. Plus, it's really the only way that small channels like mine can grow. So uh, with all that in mind, let's just dive on into the meat of the video. So starting us off at number five, we have the newest weapon on this list, and it's the elephant rifle. So this one was added with the Naturalist DLC, and I believe the idea was behind it was to hunt larger game animals. But implementation wasn't perfect, and we'll just go through it under that understanding. So like I said, this is number five. It costs $580, so almost $600 for this bad boy. It has an ammo capacity of two, which you can probably tell given that it's a double barrel weapon. And uh, let's just go through the stats. So as far as stats go, it has a damage of 90, a fire rate of 40, an accuracy of 37, a range of 35, and a reload of 45. So uh, this one kind of speaks for itself. I'll just have to show you. For one thing, if you crouch when you shoot this weapon, this happens. <laughs> so it's very comical, but it's not super uh, great in a fight. Now, like I said, this weapon does have the highest damage out of any of the rifles, and it's also tied for the highest fire rate out of any weapon on the uh, list. It does, however, have the lowest range and the lowest accuracy. Plus, it has that... Uh, really high roy uh, recoil, which you probably saw with me just shooting it uh, just now. It should be noted that this rating at number five is not uh, set in stone. For example, if you use paint it black, it's a great weapon because you put around anywhere on anything's body. Like I just shot that guy in the foot and it will kill them. So it does have great range and all of that stuff when you consider paint it black. So I know some people actually use this to great effect in PVP because they use paint it black. And I gotta be honest, for that, it is a good rifle. But for everything else, it's not. The recoil is way too heavy. If you try shooting it when you crouch, it knocks you over. Let's just show that again. So, uh, as comical as that is and how fun it is to have, you know, 90 damage, which I believe is the single highest non-explosive gun in the game, it's not great for most things that you're going to be using rifles for. So that's number five. Let's move on to number four. So at number four, we have the Springfield Rifle. And now for stats on this one, uh, we have a damage of 80, a fire rate of 30, an accuracy of 78, range of 75, and reload speed of 43. This gun costs $156, holds one round, and unlocks at rank 38. Now this one is just not a spectacular weapon. It really doesn't have anything to boast in the rifle department. That being said, I find it infinitely more usable than the elephant rifle, just given the fact that it has way less recoil and is good for use in PvE. Uh, I've used it in PvP as well to great effect, so it's, it's definitely a weapon that can be used in either. Like I said, it's middle of the road for as far as most of its stats go. Uh, damage, accuracy, and range all being neither the best nor the worst. It only has one round at a time and so it reloads pretty slow. It's got not the lowest damage but not the highest. Like I said, it's it's nothing to brag about but I think it's an upgrade over the elephant rifle for most situations. Not much more to say about the Springfield rifle except that it was number four. So at number three we have the rolling block rifle which is going to be the first of the long scope rifle options. Now basically the key distinction between a long scope rifle and a standard rifle is you can't not use the scope which is not a setting I personally love. I wish that you had the option to go between the long scope and a leveled open sight because at the time you would have had the option. So I, I would prefer that, but uh, given the fact that these ones are really geared up to longer range combat, it makes sense that it has a big powerful scope on it. So as far as stats for the rolling block go, it has a uh, damage of 85, a fire rate of 27, an accuracy of 85, range of 80, and a reload speed of 38. Uh, this one costs $411, has an ammo capacity of one round, and 
and unlocks at rank 13. So as far as the rolling block rifle is uh, concerned, it is tied for the highest accuracy and the highest range. So those are two things that are going to be uh, really in favor of this gun. It also has the second highest damage right after the elephant rifle. So considering it's probably a much more useful weapon, I mean, obviously, given the fact that I ranked it much higher than the elephant rifle, it is more usable than that. But it has very similar damage. So its damage is almost as high as the elephant rifle. Uh, as far as bad things about this rifle that keep it from ranking higher in my rating, uh, obviously it has, it only holds one round. So that's not the best thing in the world. Um, but also it has the slowest reload and the slowest fire rate. So, I mean, it's great for taking one shot to kill whatever you're trying to kill. I use it a lot for buffalo hunting just for the uh, like immersion of it because you can kill buffalo with basically any rifle, especially if you're using express rounds. But uh, I find it to be very good for killing any larger animals like that from a distance because for the most part, you can kill them in one shot. Obviously, it loses some of its functionality in close to mid-range combat because you have to use the scope. But other than that, like I said, I use the rolling block a lot. I know a lot of people actually choose to use the rolling block over any other rifle in PvP. I don't know if maybe it's just because they got used to it because you unlock it so much faster than a better rifle that I have later on in this list, or they just like it better because it does higher damage. Whatever it is, the rolling block is definitely pretty dang good, and that's why I got my number three spot. So that is number three. Let's move on to the number two second best uh, rifle in the game. So at number two, the second best rifle in the game, we have the bolt action rifle and i've seen a lot of people that would argue that this one is the best rifle in the game just because of its versatility but it's not in my opinion but we'll get to that for now let's just go over the stats so as far as stats are concerned it has a damage of 72 a fire rate of 37 accuracy of 82 range of 75 and a reload speed of 55. This one costs $216. It has an ammo capacity of five rounds and it unlocks at rank seven. So nice and low. You're going to have access to this one pretty much right away in the game. I think it's a nice looking weapon, but let's test this bad boy out in combat. So this one, like I said, has the advantage over the rolling block rifle in that you can use it in much closer combat because you don't have to use the scope. Being said, it does work decently well as a scoped weapon if you you know, really want to, because all you got to do is just toggle your scope on, and then you've got a pretty dang good sniper rifle. As far as high-level stats for this one go, it has the second fastest reload and the second highest accuracy. So it's going to be one that, like I said, is very useful in most situations. Uh, I've gone long stretches of time where instead of carrying either a repeater or a rifle and a long scope rifle, I'll just carry this with the medium scope equipped, because in most situations, especially PvE, this is going to be more than enough as far as a sniper is concerned. And in PvP, I've seen a lot of people use this instead of the snipers just because they like being able to toggle the scope. But with all that in mind, like I said, I put it at number two just because the stats of the of the number one on this list really can't compare. It's it's not only the best rifle in the game, but one of the best weapons overall. It's uh, very, very broadly... Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a person. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, number two is the bolt action rifle. Let's move on to number one. So at number one, we have the varmint rifle. I'm just kidding. Of course, number one is the Carcano rifle. Like I said, not only the best rifle in the game, but also realistically one of the best weapons just overall in the game. Its stats really dominate the battlefield. And uh, interestingly, this is also the same weapon that uh, purported presidential assassin Lee Harvey Oswald used to kill President JFK. So a little fun fact there, he used a Carcano rifle, or supposedly did. I know there's a lot of people that disagree on that uh, event. That's the story that is presented, is that he used a Carcano rifle for that. In any case, uh, as far as stats for this weapon go, it has a damage of 75, a fire rate of 40, accuracy of 85, range of 80, and a reload speed of 70. This costs $456, has an ammo capacity of 6 rounds, and unlocks at rank 50. So as far as high level stats for this gun goes, it has the highest fire rate, and it is tied for the highest accuracy. It's also tied for the highest range, which makes sense because it's a long scope rifle, and of course it's tied for highest accuracy and range with the rolling block. It has the fastest reload speed and the highest ammo capacity. And like I said, the damage is just slightly less. It's at 75, slightly less than the rolling block. Uh, not really going to make a difference because I think most people go for headshots anyway. But if you don't go for headshots, I guess that extra five damage does make a difference. 
uh, to some players. As you can see, for PvE, this weapon is just a fantastic weapon. It's great for things like clearing roadblocks, taking out gang hideouts, or I've used it a lot in PvE. I mean PvP. Unfortunately, like the rolling block, there's no option to toggle the scope, so you do have to use the scope if you're going to use the Carcano, but like I said, it's got the best fire rate, holds the most rounds, has is tied for the highest range and accuracy, and does just barely less damage than the rolling block, and then by extension the elephant rifle. So I think it's pretty obvious why the Carcano rifle takes the number one spot and I think most people will agree with that. It's just an easy gun to use and it's super effective. Great for hunting as well as combat. As far as the varmint rifle goes, I know a lot of people will be wondering where that ranks. It would probably rank somewhere around the elephant rifle. If I was going to include it in the same list, I'd put it above the elephant rifle just because it has more uses. I use it for hunting small game and it can be used decently effectively for combat. It's just more of a gimmick if you're using it in combat. I know a lot of people like it because it holds 14 rounds and obviously that's an advantage, but you have to go for head shots with that one and you have to be decently close to them. So I find more often than not if I use the varmint combat uh, varmint rifle for combat I just end up dying much quicker. So that's why I didn't include it in this list. It's very useful for small game hunting or obviously if you're a naturalist you have to use it to sedate animals but outside of that I don't have much use for the varmint rifle. But that's basically the list. Like I said to recap the, ra the ranking was elephant rifle at number five, springfield rifle at number four, rolling block rifle at number three, bolt action rifle at number two and the Carcano rifle at number one. And the only caveat on that list is that, like I said, if you use paint it black, the elephant rifle is excellent for PvP, so some people may rank it higher, but I find that to be a very small subset of the player base, so that's why I didn't really include that in my base ranking. But that's it for today's video. If you like this video, definitely like it, and if you've got any comments, maybe you disagree with my ranking, or you do agree, or you think I forgot something uh, that's important to mention, definitely let me know down in the comment section. And like I said at the beginning of the video, of course, remember to subscribe and ring that bell so you can stick around and see more of videos just like this in the future. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.